The City Council is facing criticism from some South Dunedin residents over its response to last year's flooding. Members of the newly formed South Dunedin Action Group met with civic leaders about the issue recently and Mayor Dave Carl joins us to talk about it. Good evening. Good evening. What are the main things that you've been discussing with the Action Group? The two main things were the performance of the drainage system and how we could communicate better in terms of letting the community know what's happening at the time but also uh, what's happened from now on. What was the dialogue like? Was it useful? It was very useful actually. Uh, on, I think on the action group side they said that there was a lot of things they learned that they didn't know already uh, and on our side that told us that our communications weren't as good as they should be because if the action group didn't know it then all the, many of the people in South Dunedin won't know some of those things either. Mm. Um, so. What do we now know about the state of our infrastructure during that flooding? We know th three main things. Um, the first one was that the, we, and we, this was reported some time ago, the screens on the pumps that take the water out of the system blocked up because there was so much water and they, uh, there was so much water that they couldn't be cleared and they didn't pump out as quickly as they should. We know that a good number of the mud tanks were blocked but we also know that that didn't make a huge difference to the level of the flood. It might have prolonged it a bit. The main thing we know is that that system was not built to cope with that event, that amount of rain. It, that's, that's the big lesson. How is the council working to address the issues within the network? Right, there's two lots of issues. The short term issues about infrastructural performance and the long term issues about what might happen in the future. In the short term, we're we've having all of the mud tanks cleaned out again, so come and I ask for that to be done before the winter, so that all the autumn leaf and everything is gone from them. So they'll be completely clean, and there's a new screen going on the pumps. So by winter, by July, the system will work as well as it possibly can. Are you confident that the system would, would perform better now if the city experienced heavy rainfall? It would perform better now, but if we had the same event, we would still have serious flooding. So I go back. Mm. The big lesson is that we were told, we've been told progressively over the last few years, given climate change, expect more serious, more extreme, more frequent heavy rain events. We know that if you get a rain event like that, that system simply can't cope. It doesn't have enough capacity. Mm. Tell us about your ability to communicate with the public about situations like this. What, what new things have you learned? What we've learned is that, well, one of the things we've learned is that there's a whole raft, you know, with social media uh, that is, in a sense, supplanting the other means. So people are not using the telephone to the same extent. Mm. They're using Facebook. And we have to take the opportunity to learn from that experience to use those better and to make the whole communication process much better and much more accessible for mm. people. What would you like to say to the people of South Dunedin? That we're very conscious that this was a real lesson and we, we have the, you know, we can argue about who is to blame. We've taken responsibility for, for, for some parts of it that we could have been better. But in the main, this is a lesson. Our system won't cope with this. So the big lesson is, looking forward, we know we're going to get more of these. We've got to look at other ways, other than replacing the whole system, which is billions of dollars. We've got to look at other ways. How do we make it work better? You know, we know there was water flowing in from other catchments and making it worse in South Dunedin. How do we stop that? How do we m make the roads cope with more, hold more water to keep it out of properties? There's lessons to be learned about going forward. The big thing for us is we have to protect the householders and businesses of South Dunedin in the face of changing climatic conditions. Mm. Are you still assisting people who were affected by last year's floods? I, I checked up on that today. <clears throat> Apparently we've given out about $85,000 to about 71 or 72 different applicants. Mm -hmm. The money, there's still the odd application coming in, it's still open. Um, but Mostly it's been handed over to the social wellbeing agencies in the area and we're liaising with them and they're still available for, to help. Danita Mayor Dave Cull, thank you very much for your time. Cheers.